we have a lot of fun no matter what we do. Um, you know, that's there's no other way to put it. Uh, you know, we're best friends. You know, everybody. You know, makes things out to be you know bigger than what they are when they say you know groups don't get along, and we just kind of laugh at it. We don't understand why. I mean, yeah, everybody has arguments, but if you respect each other, you'll always be able to get along. I think the thing that makes it special is that you know we don't take ourselves too seriously. We take our craft very seriously, but we don't take ourselves too seriously. So we can poke fun at each other. If you remember to joke and have a good time and remember that, you know, this is a gift, to do what we do is a gift, we remember that every day and, you know, and we take advantage of the fact that, you know, we get to touch that many people and we have fun with it. When people come to our show, we want them to, to uh, come in and have a great three hours and give, and give them something to talk about for the next couple of weeks. Go, man, when they did that song, did you see when they came out of the ceiling or did you see when they flew up out of the floor? You know, and they'll get to laugh. And, and the funnest part to us is trying, trying to amaze people, one, and then two, when people walk away from the show feeling like they were a part of the show, something very personal. Yeah, it's, our life doesn't suck right now, to put it that way. Maybe, no, it doesn't suck, I'm not, not even a little bit. All right, it sucks a little bit, that's it. It's been one of those experiences that while, while we're on tour, I think we're getting really tired, but I don't think we want it to end, you know? I mean, it's, it's been so much fun. The response has been great. Uh, we jump around so much on stage, it's just so hyper, and uh, we just enjoy performing. Well, even when I'm at home, I miss the other guys. You know, it's crazy, because like, if we go like three days without seeing each other, we're always on the phone going, what are you doing, what are you doing? Hey, are you just hanging out? Cool, cool, you know? Because especially, you know, now with everything that's going on, I mean, you know, with all the eyes on us and everybody throwing stuff at us, it's always fun to to hear what other people are doing, like so-and-so's doing a movie, or so-and-so got this, or he's doing a TV show, or he's doing a song with somebody. And it's always great because like, we're still huge fans ourselves. And when we say, oh, you know, I just met Lenny Kravitz in the mall, oh my God, that's awesome. You know, we all freak out still to this day. So we just, uh, we enjoy each other's company. And I know being off tour, you know, it's hard not seeing the guys every day. I'm the leader. Don't listen to the rest of them. I'm the leader. I'm in charge. Which way do we go? I'm a performer because I am nowhere athletic, except for maybe in the uh, aerobic area. Because <laughs> we're running around so much, we're running upstairs, running downstairs, you know, get a drink of water, go run and change, wear two outfits on top of you. You know, because you have to do a quick change for the next, right after the next song, and you know, it, it's stuff like that. But it, it pays off because it's it's, it's, enjoy, it's enjoy, you know, not many people get to see what happens backstage. And this is cool because now you're gonna get to see what really goes on when we're running upstairs and sitting around, joking around, being silly back there, or you know, just sitting there waiting to, waiting for your cue. excited that you know we actually did it and it's over and you know uh, excited to move on to another tour and see what happens you know or you know just just a whole bunch of other things but I there is also that other side of you know uh, you know I'd rather stay on tour it's fun to be out there and, and you're gonna miss the things and the gags and the certain things that you had and how much fun I mean there's both sides to it you're happy but yet you said It definitely has been a pop out. I mean, we, we definitely feel that it has been something different. Um, that everyone that came to see the show has, has told us um, that comparing it to any other show we've done, um, anything that, you know, um, anything we've done in our career, this has definitely been the biggest thing. And they've enjoyed it, like, tremendously.
it was cool to see the transition of where most of the tour there was no album out and uh, to see what the reaction was and, and all the fans were like wanting to listen to the music so they'd be like you know telling that person next to them shut up you don't want to hear this and then when the album was released they were singing every every word to the song Every person on our crew is very vital to what we do. Um, it's, it's a very dangerous, dangerous tour. We have every type of stunt you can name um, in our set. So, and each person has their own designated thing that they do to make everything work. You take one person out and there's, there can be trouble. I mean, it's some real dangerous trouble. So, uh, you know, it's, it's very important that everyone is on key and our crew is the best. I mean, they have the best attitude um, coming into work every day. Uh, we get along so great with them, they're like family. Every day, or at least three times a day now, I give thanks for all of this. I mean, uh, just thinking back six years ago, when we were an a cappella group singing anywhere we could in Orlando, um, to what it is now. I mean, you can dream, but I didn't even dream this big. I was like, you know, maybe we could, I would love to have an album. You know, I just want an album to be on the shelves in stores. That's, that was my goal. And uh, now, four albums later, you know, huge stadium tour, it's just amazing. And, you know, I only, I mean, you have to just thank God every day <laughs> for what he gave you. This tour has been a long tour, and um, it's been a lot of fun, though. Uh, just because of the fact that we started it before the album came out, and um, that a lot of kids were hearing these songs uh, before they were going to be able to get them on the CD. Um, but it's been it's been fun to see the see the faces and the, all the different kinds of people who have come out. It's um, contrary to popular belief. It's not just teenage girls. You closet fans I'm talking to you. Well, the age range for the people that come to our show is very broad, and I think that's something that we've done in the last year, and I don't know if it was a, it wasn't conscious, that's for sure, it's just, uh, we bridge the generation gap uh, for, for some reason, and that's a cool place to be in, you know, uh, to get so many different people coming to the show, you know, young kids, teenagers, college kids, uh, adults, you know, married couples come to the shows, and it's cool, it's fun. At the end of the day, it's all just music, and um, and uh, if you do a video, if you if you're on MTV, if you if you do all these certain things, you're pop. You know, uh, there are certain artists that don't want to be pigeonholed into. Be, they don't want to be called pop artists, but if you're liked, if you're on the top 40, you're pop. You know, and that's a good thing. You know, if somebody could not be buying your records, and then you wouldn't have a living. The cool part is when you see the audience singing the songs back to you, you know, that's, that's the payoff for what we do.